Gemini, what's going on? I hope you're really well. This is gonna be a career reading for April. What the hell? April already, Gems. Um, if you're a returner, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you are new here, welcome. Thank you for checking out the channel. And you know, if you like the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe for me, because then you'll get, you know, my new vids. And uh, also, it really helps helps out the channel and stuff. But anyway, so Gemini, good things are happening in terms of money. You're actually um, there's some healing happening around money at the moment. I feel like it may be to do with something you've inherited from the fam. Um, there's you have the death card at the bottom of the deck, okay? So this is kind of the overall energy of the reading, okay? So there's like endings here and new beginnings, okay? Because you can't have a new beginning until there's an ending, right? The universe hates a void if there's, you know, something that you're letting go of here, which I feel like is kind of fear about money. You may have come from like a family, like, I don't want to say poor, but you know, maybe your family didn't have a lot of money or something, but there's some kind of block here about money and getting money and having it or like feeling like you deserve it or something, um, or feeling like it's going to happen. It could also be because there's something here about a creative venture. <clears throat> like maybe a business that you started or it's, it's something to do with something like being fairly autonomous um, or creative. So it could be that someone said something to you that kind of made you doubt yourself. Um, but whatever it is, there's some kind of healing coming in here and there's a choice that you're going to be making. Mm. Okay, so you have the Five of Pentacles here. Okay, right at the beginning of the reading. So the Five of Pentacles, this is coming in out of the cold, okay? You may have been having money problems. Um, maybe you switched career. Maybe you got fired. Maybe you've been unemployed for a while, but there's coming in from the cold here around money, okay? And it seems to be related to this. It's clarified by the Queen of Swords, okay? Um, so there's something about coming in from the cold here, coming in out of debt, fixing money problems to do with the Queen of Swords, okay? The Queen of Swords is related to, she's a creative card. She's not creative in the sense of like the cups sweet, but she's creative in the sense of like communication. So, you know, for example, like a YouTube channel, okay? Um, a public speaker, a writer, a copywriter, um, a teacher, something creative like that that kind of involves communication. Do you know what I mean? It's like, per it's some way of kind of <clears throat> portraying com portraying ideas through communication. Do you know what I mean? And it's not really like an artistic, she's not artistic as such. Like I wouldn't say painter, she could be. But I mean, it's, it's more to do with like vocalizing and truth. Do you know what I mean? Like a writer or a journalist or something like that. And she's clarified here by wisdom, imagination, self-worth, creativity, and abundance, okay? So there's something here, this is how you're gonna make your money. I don't know if you've been slightly blocking something creative or like your imagination because you think you couldn't do it. But that's the thing about the Queen of Swords, she kind of mixes um, creation with wisdom because the swords are also about knowledge and knowing things. And this is how you're gonna get your abundance, Gemini. Um, so this is the key to your abundance and I feel like it's something you maybe have already been working on but there's blocks being removed here um, you have the four of pentacles here clarified by the nine of pentacles so I feel like money's been tight for a while or you may see again there's kind of a lack mindset here Gemini which is strange for a Gemini because, um, you know, Gemini are usually, we don't, we don't usually have blocks like that as such, but there's going to be a removal of this block here because, um, the four of pentacles is kind of stingy. Do you know what I mean? They kind of worry about money. They're, they're tight with their money because they're worried about where money's going to come from. 
but it's clarified by the nine of pentacles which is a card of abundance and it's a card of not only abundance but financial independence um she's often known as like the single lady of the deck um but she's financially independent and she's often associated with um entrepreneurship as well i'm just gonna get a wee sip of coffee it's getting them laugh Um, yeah, she's often associated with entrepreneurship, but there's there's a difference coming in here. It, it's like a difference in mindset, you know, because before you had this kind of miserly energy about like, I can't do it. There, I'm not going to spend my money because I, I like, I can't do it. It's not going to work. So there's no point in trying. You know what I mean? I'm just going to save my money because I live in a lack mindset and that's what happens. Like in this world, I have no money. So I better save what I have. Whereas the Nine of Pentacles is very much like a, hey, I'm going to buy myself like this fancy new dress and walk around in this garden because I'm so rich. Like I have nothing else to do and I'm going to play with this bird. You know, it's like money comes to me, like I'm naturally abundant. It's that kind of energy. So there's a mind shift here, Gemini. Um, right in the center of the reading, you have the Justice card. He will focus. Clarified by choices, okay? So you've got a choice to make. You're about to make a choice and it feels to me like you're about to choose between, uh, I don't know, the past and the future almost. You have this, it's clarified by the sun and the hanged man, which is illumination. So things are about to become very clear for you you're about to start seeing things for what they are. Like if you've been in a lack mindset and that's been holding you back, there that's gonna get moved, like, so that you can actually create things here. And that's what's, it, that's gonna be the difference. It's gonna be the difference between choosing the nine to five, like choosing what it is you're supposed to be doing, choosing that kind of life and choosing what you actually want to do like whatever this queen of swords represents for you like this creativity this um like imagination there's something to do with creativity and imagination like maybe you're a writer but people you know you can't you've not got a lot of work at the moment so people are like oh you should just get a job at like i don't know like a government job or something like that um or like a job in a factory or something. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I've done it myself, but like if you have this one particular thing that you want to do, you know, maybe it's like a choice between doing this thing or like getting a, a job that people tell you you should be doing, you know? Um, because it's also, <laughs> I have two pentacles here as well, okay? So this is like a decision, it's a decision, to, you know, about money. Um, but this pile here is also clarified by the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords, okay? So there's some healing that needs to be done, that is being done around failures in the past, thinking things are not gonna work out. Maybe you were always broke in childhood, you know, maybe you come from a family that was poor, so you're like, ah, oh my God, I can't take risks. <laughs> I just have to consistently accumulate money doing a job I hate. Um, but there's healing that's happening here and this healing is going to help you make a choice. Um, you have two nines here. You have the nine of wands and the nine of cups. Clarified by the six of swords. So there's an energy here of needing to give it another go because the nines, you're very nearly at the end, Gemini. Like whatever this is you're doing, whatever this is you're waiting for, don't give up. Count your blessings as well. Make sure you're not entering into this mindset of like, oh, I may as well just give up and like, I'm not gonna, you know, all the good work I've been doing, I'm just gonna throw it out the window. Like I'm not, I'm gonna stop saying thank you to spirit for things. I'm gonna stop being grateful. I'm gonna stop being happy. I'm just gonna like resign myself to my fate. Keep counting your blessings because that draws more blessings to you. Like anything, anything you can think of for spirit, to, to thank spirit for, you know, like I'm thankful for my cup of coffee. I am thankful that I am warm, you know, but with the nine of wands, there's, there's an energy of not giving up. <laughs> He's my card of one more round, you know, like Rocky, 
I don't know if you've seen the Rocky movies, but he's like, hey, one more round. I ain't hear no bell. <laughs> it's that kind of energy, like you're bruised, you're broken, you're beaten down. <laughs> Finances are taking a huge hit, but you're not giving up. Um, and with the Six of Swords, this is moving into calmer waters because the Fives are very much about conflict. Conflict with other people, conflict of the mind, especially because it's a sword card. Conflict of the mind, you know, being trapped in a state of fear that's holding you back. And the Six of Swords is kind of allowing yourself to move away from that so you can be successful because Gemini, in your near future, which is like a couple of weeks to a few months, if the Ten of Pentacles here, okay, this is success. This is the card of success. It's something long-standing. This is a contract. The signing of a money contract or like a lot of abundance coming in for you, but not like a windfall, like something that's here to stay. So if you've been looking for a particular job or, you know, you've been waiting for your business to take off, it's coming with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you have the Queen of Cups here in your near future. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for now. You have the High Priestess. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Um, you have the Three of Pentacles. And you have the Queen of Pentacles, also an awesome card, especially for an entrepreneur. So let's just put them all together. So you have the Ten, I know you can't really see them, but um, you have the Ten of Pentacles, okay, so there's abundance coming in here. See with the Queen of Cups, this is like, I don't know, it's it's real, the, the Cups relate to like feelings and emotions and healing. So if there's some kind of healing job that you've been doing, like a nurse or um, like a doctor or the spiritual arts, it could very well be the spiritual arts with the High Priestess here as well. Um, if you've been trying to get a career as some kind of healer, that's going to be taking off as well. With the High Priestess, you're being asked here to listen to your intuition. Um, as well with the Queen of Cups, she's a card of intuition. It's listening to your intuition that's going to give you this Ten of Pentacles. Don't listen to the other people, Gemini. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? Um, people that tell you you can't do things, what do they know? Whether the queen of the universe, king or queen of the universe. And the, the three of pentacles here is about growth. This is about building something that's going to last. Creation. Um, so if you, you know, if you are starting your own business, these are amazing cards. But um, if it's not that, there's just something, you're creating a life for yourself here. And it's success based around your intuition. And I also feel like Gemini is based around you being kind. This, there's something about you that, like the kindness, there's something about being kind and soft and warm that's kind of, that's giving you this Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is basically like, you don't got to worry about money anymore, okay? Um, if she'll focus. The Queen of Pentacles is very practical, okay? This is a card of a very good work home life balance. So you could be working from home. It could be like setting your own hours. Like for example, if you're a writer, you know what I mean? I know you guys work on commission and stuff. I've never done it myself, but like I know you take kind of commission jobs and things like that a lot of the time. But like if you're going for some kind of job where you're setting your own hours or like your own business or something like that. This is an exceptionally good card, especially with the Ten of Pentacles because it's going to be very balanced and you're going to succeed because you have this combination of like drive and practicality. And in your outcome position, Gemini, God, you have the Six of Wands. Success. Okay, this is this is going to be successful. You have the Four of Wands. This is going to bring you a lot of stability. Whatever this is, it may not feel like it now, but there's stability coming in for you. You have the Chariot, another success card. This card also talks about, God damn you focus, um, the will and the drive and the determination to succeed, okay? So don't lose focus, Gemini. Don't start wondering. Um, you may encounter quite a lot of competition in this job, 
or in the future like you're going to be successful but you're going to have to keep the motivation and the drive going because there may be competition but the seven of wands you've already defeated the competition gemini just by being who you are and the four of wands uh, sorry the four of swords this is going to lead to a lot of peace and rest for you okay once like it may feel like a struggle now but it's really going to be worth it in the end gem you also have Or did they come out in this order? You have the gazelle, okay? This card is almost like a post-traumatic stress disorder card. Um, it talks about like feeling very fearful. Excuse me, I'm gonna get some coffee. Mm -mm. It is almost like a post-traumatic stress card. The gazelle appears when we're frightened. We're almost like frightened of our own shadow because of things that have held like hurt us in the past so this again i feel like is coming back to you may have had a shaky childhood in terms of money or like you may have had some really bad experiences with like money hold on card for Gemini please. What chakra does Gemini need to work on? Not forgiven as a message, right? I just wasted everybody's time. Interesting, I actually thought the root chakra was going to come up but this is interesting. You have my pleasure is free from guilt. Do you have guilt around money Gemini? Is that what it is? Especially with the gazelle card here, this is kind of almost like something... Do you feel like, is it something to do with your family? Like you feel like you shouldn't be making money because you should be supporting your family or something? Or like you shouldn't be making money because your family don't like people with money or something? There's some kind of guilt here around money that you're healing, okay? With the gazelle, this is, this is a healing process, okay? There's no need to be scared anymore around money. Like you, you're in that. We all come here to be abundant. It's only what they tell us that stops us from being abundant. You know what I mean? Um, you also have the mouse here, which is another card of fear because it talks about kind of focusing on, unlike my camera, kind of focusing on the details so much that you, you kind of freak yourself out, you know what I mean? So there's maybe an energy here of, of like seeing yourself as like a screw up um, as well, that you're worried that you're going to do something wrong and it's going to mess it all up. you got to let go of that, Gemini. You have the Tarantula card here, which is also about making decisions. This is a, talks about uh, being at a crossroads in your life. So I feel like there's there's a choice here, Gemini. Either you can be extraordinary, you can go with who you're supposed to be and be extraordinary, or you can take the road traveled by everyone else and just do the mundane and be scared. Um, the Swan card is also about creativity. Specifically, it talks about writing, but you know, any form of creativity here, you know, you're a Gemini. You're here to be creative, you know? Not everybody is cut out for, you know, a Virgo will not enjoy the same things as like a Gemini. A Taurus is not going to really enjoy the same job as a Gemini, you know what I mean? Like we're all here for different reasons, that's why we're born under different signs. But I really feel like there's something creative you're supposed to be doing, Gem. And with the Owl card, you see clearly now. Like, you see clearly about what it is you're supposed to be doing. So I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.